so Forrest Ackerman, you were a friend of his, and um, and it was interesting in that he, um, uh, you know, he was a science fiction guy, and you were a science fiction fan as well, and that he was doing magazines that had some um, some nude women in them, and you had gotten involved with, it, with that in some way. Tell us about that experience and your impression of Forey from going through that. Um, I don't think that he did do any magazines with nude women. We're talking about the girly mags. Right, the was, girly mags, that's what I meant. They were not Forey's, no. But he's, he kind of convinced me somehow that if I were to pose for the men's magazines, um, I would become famous like Marilyn Monroe and yeah. I'd be a famous actress and he would be my agent. Uh -huh. And I was, you know, like 19. So, <laughs> so I believed him. Uh -huh. And then what, what did something happen or a conversation or something that, that you realized that it was not correct or, or just tell us about like thinking out of that um, and that process? Well, really, the thing is that at that point, you know, as a 19 year old, I'd had a whole series of really disastrous boyfriends uh -huh. who had who had really managed to destroy my self-esteem. Uh -huh. And I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't have faith in myself and didn't know that I was very smart and very talented. But I knew I had my looks and it seemed like that was all I had. I see. Yeah. So this is it's somewhat um, transformative in a way. Then last episode, you mentioned your friendship with Von Baudet and that he wasn't in the boys club of underground cartoonists. Is it just, it, you know, I've learned quite a bit about Von Baudet since then. Uh, and he had a different gender expression than other guys in the uh, comic industry. Definitely. Or, definitely. Yeah. Would you say that was a part of him not being in that boys club? Uh, and tell us about your oh, guys' friendship. I think so. Because, you know, the boys club was very, very male extremely uh -huh. male and Vaughn would wear like long robes and he had this wonderful curly rock and roll star hair you know down to his shoulders uh -huh. and painting his nails black or green yeah. and you know he was definitely heterosexual but he he liked to play with gender you know and yeah. he looked great that way yeah. um the guys and it wasn't just that it was you know what he did was very different from what the underground cartoonists were, the other underground cartoonists were drawing. And he just wasn't part of the club. And I wasn't part of the club either, you know. 